Good evening and welcome to KVR News. I'm Dylan Nicolatopoulos. And I'm... Texas lawmakers are now considering several bills that could bring guns on campus. If passed, one of the bills would lift the ban that currently does not allow CHL holders to bring their concealed weapons with them to classrooms. KVR asked UT students if they think guns should be allowed on college campuses. All right, well, thanks, Joanna. When we come back, it's March Madness, and we'll have a live look for you at the NCAA tournament. Stay tuned. You're watching KVR News. And be sure to follow us on Twitter for news and weather updates at twitter.com slash KVR News. For TR Newbaum, I'm Dylan Nicolatopoulos. Stay tuned for College Press Box. Welcome back to KBR News. I'm here with College Press Box's Dylan Nicolatopoulos. He's going to give us the rundown of this past weekend's basketball game. Thanks, Jenna. The Frank Irwin Center played host to the Longhorns game against the Kansas Jayhawks. Let's take a look at the highlights. To start off the game, Texas entered the, four, the game 8-8 eight eight in the season, 0-3 in conference play, looking for the first Big 12 win. To start off the game, Javon Felix passes the ball to Papa, who hits a three-pointer. Texas is up 3-0. Later on, Javon Felix hits a three, three throw from the line. Texas is up 11-8. Later on, Holland's pass is stolen by Kevin Young, who takes it all the way down to the other end and slams it home. Then again, Travis Relaford hits the layup, and Kansas is up 28-26. At halftime, though, Texas football team was there to celebrate their Alamo Bowl victory earlier in December. To start off the second half, Julian Lewis hits the layup with an assist from Demarcus Holland. Texas leads 37-31. Later on that half, Jonathan Holmes hits a jumper with an assist from Julian Lewis again, and Texas on a 14-4 run and is up 42-31. Later on, though, it was all Kansas. The steal by Kansas on the fast break to Eliza Johnson throws it up for Ben McElmore, and Kansas is up 54-53. Later on, another fast break. Ben McElmore takes it home and slams it home again. Kansas is up 57-62. Texas looking for the much-needed shot by Je Sheldon McClellan, and he makes it. Kansas is within three. Later on, Texas is looking for their last chance, last hope. And Julian Lewis for the three-pointer, unable to make it fall. Texas unable to come away with the rebound. Kansas is going to hold on to this one and lead it 64-59. to so, Dylan, the basketball team has been struggling a bit this season. Do you think there's any way that they can start improving before Mike Kambongo comes back? Well, you know, we got about six weeks, uh, uh, before six games before Kabanga is able to play again. However, right now, the Longhorns, they're just a really young team uh, looking at the season. And before people are going to be able to say that they're playing at the level they need to, they're going to need Mike Kabanga to come back into the game for them. We do have a score update for you. They're, Texas is currently playing University of Oklahoma, and they are up 20, or they they are down 24 to 25 about two minutes before halftime so right now right it doesn't really look like we're going to be improving that much and three weeks it's just not going to be enough time before they're able to get that done well thank you dylan best of luck to the longhorns when we come back now we're off to dylan at the news desk for national headlines dylan Thanks, guys. To start us off, the U.S. Army ordered more than $780 million of a new, safer explosive that will replace TNT following the death of seven Marines last week in Nevada. The new explosive is called IMX-101 and is proven to be far more stable than TNT. IMX-101 will be replacing TNT in our artillery rounds for now, but within the next 10 years, it's said to completely replace dynamite on the battlefield. There's the argument that campus police can't really be everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, is that a valid argument as well? I, I mean, I don't think it's a valid argument to say that we shouldn't have concealed carry licenses on campus. I mean, obviously, yeah, there have been shootings in which there have been, uh, you know, police on campus such as Virginia Tech, but I don't think that's a valid argument to say that it's people aren't going to necessarily feel unsafe. It's ultimately going to come down to trust, how much people trust the people around them, and how much do they trust the police to get there at the right time. Um, so President Bill Powers oppo has opposed bills that are similar to the ones that Representatives Capriglione, <coughs> Fletcher, and Bird will have proposed in this se session. Um, as a UT student, what, what is your opinion on guns on campus? 
I'm very uh, glad to say that you know Bill Powers did come out and make the statement on what his view on concealed carry permits are for the University of Texas. I'm, I'm proud to say that our university you know takes a stance on this. Personally, um, it, it's a very sticky subject when you're talking specifically about you know public universities in which we receive funding and which way do we go. Um, it's going to be how much we end up trusting the students around us on a campus that's 53,000 students big with faculty and staff. Um, it, if putting a handgun in the hands of everyone makes them feel a little bit safer, more the power to them. But it, it's a very sticky issue right now. Well, Bill Powers. And that brings me to the question: um, Concealed handgun license holders are allowed to carry in many public places. You mentioned malls earlier, banks, restaurants, stores. Um, what makes a university different? I think the fact that people are actually in a learning setting, and you talked about the fact that you know people are, it, is a sort of, it can be a stressful environment when you're sitting there taking a test, which your GPA depends on, which the rest of your life depends on. And there's a lot that goes on specifically at the university level that decides the lives of the students that are here. And maybe sitting next to someone who's carrying a handgun, a lot of people just don't feel safe like that, and they feel like it'll impact the, their safety, um, impact the decisions that they make on the test. Um, I, I feel like it is a volatile time in people's lives lives, but going back to the argument, I don't think that's a fair argument to say this is the only volatile time in people's lives, and there are a lot of other mm. settings in which this, uh, this argument applies.